Hey guys, John here with another tutorial on how to implement Git and GitHub into your coding workflow in the Pros or Atom Text Editor. While this video is largely targeted at VEX teams, it is applicable to the Atom Text Editor and therefore any Atom based programmer. So let's get right into it. So here we are on the GitHub landing page. This is where the remote repository of your code is going to be located. So first things first, we're going to want to create a new repository. I'm going to make it private just to make sure that only I and people that I invite can see it. I'm just going to name it something. I recommend naming it your team name just for ease of location so that if you lose it, you can just look up your team name on your GitHub page. Um, but I'm going to name this one tutorial. And the most important thing down here, we're going to add a git ignore file and it's going to be the Visual Studio ignore so we're going to create this repository and then once that's done we're going to go over to the dot get ignore and we're going to edit it up here and we're going to add one line and it's going to be dot vs code slash and so this is going to remove all of the VS Code temporary files that get stored in your pros project. I'm going to scroll down here and commit it directly to the master branch and then commit changes. After that, we're going to go over to clone or download. Look at this link here. Copy it onto your clipboard. And then we're going to go over to our git bash. Here we are now in our git bash window. So what we're going to do first is do cd c drive. Now you don't have to do c drive, but I like it because it makes it so that it doesn't so that I know exactly where the repository is. After that, we're going to do git clone. And then we're going to paste in our link. And then we're going to click enter. It should ask you for your credentials, but I'm already signed in, so it will not. Once you enter in your credentials, it should copy just like this. After that, we're going to go back into our Pros text editor. Once we are back in Pros, we're going to go to the Pros tab, New Project, and it should ask you where you want to store it. It doesn't matter. I, obviously, I like storing everything on my C drive just so that I know where it is. So I'm just going to go here and do Default project code. So all this repository is going to do is we're just going to copy it over into our GitHub repository. Once it is done, you should navigate to your file folder. Once you are in your C drive, you should see your default project code file and your tutorial file. What you should do is copy over the default project file in all of its entirety over to the tutorial file. This file should be blank. It is the dot get ignore. It's just that in most windows you cannot see it because it has the dot in front of it. So once that is done, we're going to hop back over to pros. Now we're back in pros. We're going to go to file, open folder. Navigate to your oh, your cloned repository. So in my case, it's named Tutorial. It should open a new Pros text editor. Once you're here, all of this should be green, and .vs code and bin should be not included. So, what the green means is that it will commit it in its next commit to the remote repository so we're going to stage all changes once that done we're going to add a basic commit message and then we're going to commit it to the master once you have staged your changes you're going to need to push it down here
And then you should be able to navigate over to your GitHub page. And if you refresh the page or click code, all of the default pros project should end up there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this is helpful to somebody because I had trouble setting up my first Git repository. And don't forget to subscribe for more Vex and coding content.